Hey everyone, Leah here. So today we're going to talk about facial oils, which is one of my favorite topics to talk about. I was also one of the most skeptical person when it comes to applying oil topically until I actually tried it and it was a life-changing moment to be honest. It really helped clear my acne scars and my acne. It balanced my sebum production. So I think you can definitely benefit from using the right oil and today I'm going to help you to choose the right kind of oil for your skin condition. This video was brought to you in collaboration with Ayer. So thank you so much to Ayer for making this video happen and without further ado, let's get started. First, we want to understand the oils that our skin naturally has. So there are mainly two types of oil. One is the sebum. So this is the oil that you associate with the greasiness, the oiliness. It's the oil that coats the surface and naturally lubricates and also naturally moisturizes our skin. But when you are deficient in linoleic acid in the sebum, your sebum tends to be a little bit greasy, gloopy, kind of really thick blocking the pores so you have more acne and this can definitely correct it by using an oil that is higher in linoleic acid and I'll talk more in details later. The second type of oil that we have is a natural lipid part of our skin barrier. So on the outermost layer of our skin, there's something called skin barrier and it's more like a brick and mortar. It has a lot of skin cells. Those are the bricks and the glue that holds all the skin cells together are the natural lipids and these are ceramides, cholesterol, and free fatty acids and those are all lipid or oily materials. When we're saying that our skin barrier is damaged, we're often saying that our natural lipid part, the glue part, is gone or worn off or it's stripped away. This is why using oils topically can really really help with our skin's overall health. So the basic understanding of the facial oil starts from understanding the fatty acid profile of each oil. So just like each human being, each oil has different kinds of personality. One has a very nourishing, moisturizing property. Another has a very fast absorbing drier texture and each individual oil can have different kinds of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and other nutritive properties. I know it sounds complicated but the only thing that you might want to memorize is the oleic acid and the linoleic acid ratio. So if any oil is higher in linoleic acid than the oleic acid content, it is going to make the oil very very lightweight, drier, fast absorbing. It wouldn't leave as much of a residue. On the other hand, on the other hand, the oils that are higher in oleic acid than linoleic acid content it is going to be a little bit greasy thicker heavier but more nourishing and more moisturizing let's move on to talking about specific oil for a specific skin condition the very first oil that i'm recommending is pretty much like a universal oil. Anyone can use it, everyone can use it. It has little to no side effects such as clogged pores. And that is pure olive squalane oil. And squalane oil is basically one of the most biocompatible oil in our skin sebum, the oil that we have. It naturally has an ingredient called squalene. Squalene can be highly comedogenic, so we don't want to replenish squalene. If squalene undergoes a hydrogenation, it becomes a really stable, saturated oil called squalane oil and squalane oil is really really great for really softening the skin and giving your skin a little bit more flexibility and if you are a little bit scared of using plant oils because you think it's gonna clog your pores this is going to be a really really easy safe oil to incorporate into your skincare routine and just drop a few drops into your moisturizer it just creates a beautiful winter appropriate moisturizer right away it has the thinnest the driest the most lightweight texture that sinks into your skin like magic it almost leaves no residue to be honest and it's also very very great for fungal acne as well so if you do have fungal acne you might know that you can't use any kind of facial oils but squalane oil is definitely an exception now we're gonna talk about the best oil for skin barrier repair now we talked about the natural lipid part of the skin barrier being stripped away by overwashing over cleansing or overdoing anything and if you feel like your skin is constantly sensitive irritated and inflamed and your skincare products start to sting, it might be a sign that your skin barrier is damaged. So you really want to cut back on all the skincare products and stick to the basics and also incorporate something like this one, which is the Sunjung 2X 
barrier intensive cream um, to really replenish the natural lipid part of your skin barrier. So sunflower seed oil, which this product has, is a wonderful, beautiful oil that is higher in linoleic acid than the oleic acid content. And sunflower seed oil, which is in this cream, is a wonderful, beautiful oil that is meant to repair your skin barrier because it does have a higher concentration of linoleic acid. And any oil that have higher linoleic acid to oleic ratio have shown to be beneficial for skin barrier repair. Sunflower seed oil definitely has some researches and studies and data showing that it does help preserving the stratum corneum integrity, which basically means that our skin barrier and keeping it intact. Because this also has metacosticide and panthenol, which is supposed to really relieve the irritation and also rebuild the skin barrier. A lot of you guys seem to do have acne prone skin, so I'll be recommending some best oils for acne prone skin, starting off from grape seed oil. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of studies and researches showing that people with acne prone skin is deficient in linoleic acid on their skin. If you replenish the linoleic acid content through plant oils that are higher in linoleic acid, such as grape seed oil, the oil that you produce, the quality of it can definitely change. It will be more fluid, more flexible, rather than being gloopy and greasy and heavy. Oils that are higher in linoleic acid content generally has a property to regulate the sebum production. It's because it controls or inhibits the enzyme that produces more sebum and it kind of blocks the male hormones to produce too much or affect the sebaceous glands. It doesn't trigger as much of a sebum production. And grapeseed oil is one of them. And grapeseed oil also does have a wonderful anti-inflammatory property which can definitely help soothe and calm down the inflammatory response, which basically acne is to be honest. It also has a lot of great antioxidant properties such as resveratrol, which is known to be one of the hottest antioxidants. It's also very rich in phenolic compounds. Similar to grapeseed oil, there is another oil that is higher in linoleic acid and that also has a very great anti-inflammatory property. So it is very well beloved by a lot of acne prone skin and that is hemp seed oil. I used to have a lot of acne and I just used to pump out oil, really, really thick and heavy oil. But when I included hemp seed oil along with rosehip seed oil, they just really changed my skin balance out my skin and just brought my skin back to a normal balanced state. Hemp seed oil is also really, really great at softening the skin. If you drop a few drops of hemp seed oil into your moisturizer or your hyaluronic acid serum, you'll definitely see improvement in your skin texture as well because it has a really great softening, skin softening property. And I noticed that it really helps reduce the redness that's associated with acne or acne scars as well. So overall, really great oil for acne prone skin. We cannot not talk about rosehip seed oil. I have to thank rosehip seed oil for doing a lot of stuff to my skin. It really helped boost my overall skin's health, but it's really, really great for acne prone skin, but it also is great for aging skin or mature skin because rosehip seed oil, I believe it's one of the best natural source for vitamin A. So it has a very bioactive version of vitamin A called retinoic acid. And retinoic acid, as you know, it's present in tretinoin or retin-A cream. And that's basically the active form of vitamin A. And vitamin A can definitely help with cell renewal and that's why it's so good for reversing signs of aging, sunspots, hyperpigmentation, and also acne prone skin. So rosehip seed oil is never going to be an alternative to those prescription strength cream. However, if you do wanna try retinoic acid in a plant oil form, this is the best that you can go for. And to be honest, rosehip seed oil is one of the most popular oil among you guys, my pom pom fam. I know a lot of you guys have treated your acne by using rosehip seed oil. Now I'm going to introduce you to an oil that does a really kick-ass job in plugging out those stubborn blackheads and whiteheads or any kind of congestions. This is the one and that is jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is a very unique oil because it has a really big similarity to our natural sebum and I think the wax composition and the fatty acid profile is very similar to what our natural sebum has. Like dissolves like, so does oil dissolves oil and something that is similar to our sebum can really go down there into the pore tunnel and really clear the gunk. I would use this on my t-zone area where my pores are more prominent and more open. I would use it probably once a week. I would just massage it over my skin for about 10 minutes and it slowly but 
but surely does kind of pluck out all the blackheads. It is very gratifying and I think it's a much gentle way to pluck out those blackheads without using a very harsh nose strip. The best oil for hyperpigmentation goes to Tamanu oil and you guys know how much I love this and ever since I introduced you to Tamanu oil A lot of you have tried Tamanu oil. You guys don't know how many messages I received Thanking me for introducing Tamanu oil because it really does the job and I first come across Tamanu oil or learned about it through my aunt because she used to formulate Tamanu oil cream and she herself got rid of her stubborn sunspots the brown spots with using Tamanu oil so so ever since then, I tried using it and it really significantly faded my hyperpigmentation like no other. No vitamin C cream or no vitamin A or retinol that I used that really did the job. So it is a really wonderful skin regenerating, rejuvenating oil that I highly recommend for everyone who wants to just target the brown spots. Keep this in your vanity. I'm sure there will be one day that it will come very, very handy. But this taman oil is higher in oleic acid, which makes this oil a little bit greasy. So I wouldn't recommend you guys to slather it all over the skin, but rather target and apply it on the selected area and see how it goes. Also, taman oil has a really beautiful, naturally green color, and it does come with a really pungent, strong, medicinal, herbal, nutty, or earthy that a lot of people seem to not enjoy. Definitely be aware of the smell and please don't blame me for the smell because it is what it is, but I highly recommend this one. Next, we're gonna touch on the oils that are great for drier skin types and luckily you guys have a lot of good choices and one oil that I selected for its affordability is avocado oil. Avocado oil is extracted from the fruit part, not the seed or the nut. And as you guys know, avocado is very rich in vitamins, minerals, a lot of healthy fats, aka essential fatty acids. It has high concentration of vitamin E and vitamin E can really help repair your skin and it's also really great antioxidant so that it helps your skin to fight against free radicals. Unlike a lot of greasy or heavy oils, this actually penetrates into the skin, hitting multiple layers and nourishing and moisturizing multiple layers of the skin while also coating the top of the skin. So I think it's going to be a really great addition for a lot of dry skin out there. And then we have another oil that is rather trendy at the moment and that is marula oil. Marula oil has high level of oleic acid but it's interesting because even though it has a very high content of oleic acid which may make the oil feel really greasy or heavy, it actually has a very low molecular weight which means that it is able to go down there into your pore lining to deeply penetrate and deeply hydrate and moisturize. So I think that's why it's being loved by a lot of different skin types other than just dry skin. And marula oil is meant to be great for soothing down reactive skin and there is a bunch of different antioxidants in it including flavonoids and phenolic compounds. Moving on to our last category, best oils for mature aging skin and that is the sea buckthorn oil. Sea buckthorn oil does have a really potent orange hue and it is due to its high concentration of beta carotene and also lycopene and the fruit of the sea buckthorn is known to have 15 times more vitamin c than orange fruits which tells you a lot and vitamin c itself as you guys know it is really really great for promoting collagen production which plumps up and firms up your skin another unique aspect of sea buckthorn oil is that it's known to promote blood circulation and it oxygenates the skin cells so that it can purify and detox all the toxins and it also comes with a array of vitamins vitamin a b c e f p do not use sea buckthorn oil by itself because it can stain your entire face and your sheets and your pillow. I would highly recommend you to dilute it in a rosehip seed oil as a carrier and then drop a few drops of sea buckthorn oil, massage it all over the skin so that you can also physically promote the blood circulation. These two are definitely going to be your gem. So that is it guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If it was, please, please like this video and share it with your friends and family. Every oil that I've shown you in this video are available from iHerb and I will leave all the product links down below. So definitely check it out. iHerb is definitely one of the best, best, best 
guys source for getting your 100% natural plant oil like this. I usually shop for my herb to stock up on my pantry item and some healthy groceries and some oils for my face but there's over 30,000 items and brand names and it ships to over 150 different countries so definitely check out if your country is available for its shipping and you can check out the shipping method down below. They also provide 10 different languages for customer support so definitely check it out and yeah thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys and talk to you guys later in my next video. Take care. Bye!